Joining us now on the Menard Studio Hotline, it is the head basketball coach of the University of Evansville men's Purple Aces basketball team for his weekly chat. Marty Simmons joins us. Uh, Coach, you guys get an 89-78 win over Indiana State on Tuesday in a game that featured uh, a lot of play uh, from your bench players, and I think everybody on the team ended up at least with one point uh, before the day was done. Has incorporating your bench players in a more active role, has that been the plan all along, or was it more of, Let's let's see how these guys progress through the season, and when we need them, we can call on them. Probably the latter. I mean, it, it it's been a situation where I think our bench has been pretty solid. You know, injuries injuries probably played a a, a role in that as well. Where we, you know, with Mislav being out up at Loyola, you know, we we probably gave some guys some opportunities there, and they played well, and uh, they've continued to play well. I think that's been a uh, a big factor in our success here lately. It's something that uh, we need to continue to build on, and 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 hopefully, it'll be even stronger as uh, as Mislav comes back. Well, Jimmy said the other day, and I thought he worded it very well. You guys are now, as he put it, a quiet sixteen and five and six uh, and three in the conference. Do you feel like this program flies under the radar in this conference? A little bit, and, and would you rather it be that way? Would you rather kind of be that guy that maybe sneaks up on people, or do you want to see your guys get the recognition they deserve for the play they get on the on the floor? Yeah, probably, probably that. I mean, we, you know, you got to earn it. You know, that's kind of been our our, you know, what we've what we've built us around. You know, and and guys have worked really hard, and and uh, you know, we had a young team last year, and we took some lumps, and I think our guys learned from that. And uh, we're just taking it one day at a time. Uh, I think our, our team and our program certainly proud of where we're at. Uh, now our challenge is to build on that. You know, getting down the stretch here. Uh, you know, we've got to we've got to shift to another gear. I mean, it, it's nothing's easy in this league. Doesn't matter who you're playing on on any given night. You got to be ready to play, or you're going to get you're going to get beat. And that's you know, this kind of new ground for us is. We feel like uh, again we're in it. We're in a position to to maybe make a good season into a great one. Well, you know, you've got uh, three losses in the conference. The the one to Wichita State that was one we discussed, and that's uh, you watch the film, you burn it, and you move on. But uh, the other two, you know, Loyola and Indiana State, you were able to to avenge both of those losses. They were they were very close losses, and uh, you really handled ISU pretty handily, really, and uh, the, the other night, but. Uh, the thing I notice about this team, and I think it stands out when you look at the at the, uh, the attempts from the free throw line, especially in that Indiana State game, this is a team that's getting more and more physical down low, and they're just uh, aggressive may be the better word for it, huh? That's going to be a big key. You know, we talked about that after the Wichita game, and that's a good that's a good you know stat to to watch. I mean, when we're when we're playing the way we want to play, we're getting to the free throw line, we're getting cuts into the lane. We're getting penetration. We're getting the ball inside, and 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 really in transition as well. And I really felt like, you know, for 37 minutes the other day against Indiana State. I mean, that's as well as we've played in a long time. You know, we turned it over three times against the press late, and we just weren't sound with it. But 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 overall, I mean, I really thought, you know, for the first 37, it was it was really good. And again, as a coach, as a team, we want to build on that good play because. Uh, you know, going to Des Moines is, is not an easy place to play. We're talking with UE head basketball coach Marty Simmons, Sporting O'Brien on ESPN Evansville, 105.3 and online, ESPNEvansville.com. Coach, uh, you, one of the names that jumps out a little bit, maybe a front runner for most improved player, if you will, is your son. Blake has, uh, he's really come on this season. Uh, you know, I, I know a lot of times it takes – a little bit to uh, get used to the program and things and things like that, which I'm sure didn't take him quite as long. Dad's coaching it, but uh, it's a couple of questions on that. Uh, you got to feel good as a coach about his progress. And then the second half of the question: uh, Does it make it tougher? It usually does, I think. Does it make it tougher for a coach's kid just because everybody's kind of you know you're the coach's kid, so they just want to pick on you a little more? <laughs> Probably. I mean, everybody, everybody kind of reminds me that, you know, coach Cruz and guys that I've worked with, you know, I, I just, you know, I, I try to, uh, you know, stay focused, you know, that, that when he's at practice, he's just one of the guys and he makes it easy. Not that he's perfect. He makes mistakes and 
like anybody else, and I'd like to see him more consistent, and I'd like to see him just, just grit his teeth and be a little bit tougher. But he does bring a good attitude every day. He's very unselfish. He could care less whether he's taking the shot or making the pass or setting the screen. He does a lot of things like that that makes it, it, it very easy, you know, to, to coach him. And uh, I've enjoyed every minute of it. You, you've got the, you got a game coming up tomorrow against Drake. You'll be you'll be on the road. Uh, that never an easy game. Any game in this conference, not an easy one. But uh, uh, I, I know it's it's one game at a time. But the players also, how do you keep them focused in week in and week out, and not have them looking ahead to Arch Madness, which is which is coming up very soon for that conference tournament? We've got a pretty even kill group. I mean, they. Uh, I think they they understand, you know, what what's ahead of us and and kind of where we're at. And like you said, I mean, really, I mean that you cannot get away from from one game at a time. Uh, we went up there last year and Drake put it on us pretty good. I mean, they they kicked our tails and you know they just won at Bradley on TV the other night. They're a well coached team. They've got quickness on the perimeter. Difficult to match up with. Got a big guy inside. So. We know, we know. I mean, we've we've been down this road before, and you got to bring your A game each and every night to have a chance. And and you can throw records and and things right out the window when it comes to league play. And that's going to take a great effort for us to go up there and get a win. Talking to UE men's basketball coach Marty Simmons on the Menard Studio Hotline. It's Ford and O'Brien, ESPN Evansville, 105.3 online, ESPNEvansville.com. This will be your uh, first meeting against Drake so far this season, Coach. What have you seen on film? What do they do well? What do you guys need to do to come out with a win tomorrow? Well, they're they're really well coached. They got great Jackalettis. They're coached. Uh, have a tremendous tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, they've got a kid in Ricks that I believe was a transfer from Utah three years ago. He set out last year. Was hurt. He's shooting forty six percent from three. He has the ability to shoot from twenty five feet. They got a big Danish kid inside and of old that's uh six eleven, probably two sixty, can really take up space, scores inside, gets angles. A freshman point guard in Reed or in Timmer that, that can can really penetrate, can shoot the three. And again, they've got these these uh what I would say smaller combo guards, five ten to six foot that have the ability, a lot like Indiana State, to pass, dribble and shoot, can really stretch the defense. So our ability to not let Ricks go wild and, and, and contain them inside, uh, pressure shots, and then offensively we've got to, we've got to play with tempo. I thought that's where we were better against Indiana State. We want to get up and down a little bit and, uh, and, and not turn the basketball over and get good shots. And I think, you know, if we're able to do those things, then, then we'll give ourselves a chance. Well, you know, Coach, uh, one, one quick thing I wanted to bring up to you and, and uh, see if you had a chance to get out and and see this Wrights high school team yet this year. Uh, your recruitment, you may be able to do it on a bicycle this season because uh, there's a whole lot of talent going on in the SIAC this year, especially on that Wrights basketball team. Yeah, yeah. that they. Uh, I have not seen them this year, but I did. They were at our summer camp. And, again, I got Tremendous respect for Coach Adams, and and that's they got they got a fun team. I mean, they are they're as good as any high school team I've seen in a long, long time. I mean, their ability to share that basketball. Sure, teams have have you know a lot of a lot of talent, but it's their unselfishness and their willingness to give it up that I think separates them from a lot of teams. And uh, it'll be interesting to see you know just just how far they can go in the tournament. Coach, best of luck to you against Drake tomorrow and then uh, again on the road Tuesday against Illinois State. We'll talk again next week. Thanks a lot, guys.